All right, we're recording it. We're about, what, 30 seconds away. It's coming, baby. Okay. Any, any last minute predictions? Uh, I Like I said before, Disney's 2013 classic, The Lone Ranger, is not coming to Switch. It's a, it's a shocker to many, but I have inside sources and they told me that movie is not happening. It's not being ported to Switch. I know it's the big want for everybody, but alas, it's not happening. <sighs> Seconds away. Let's go. Come on. I want that fucking red to fade away. Fade away already. Come on. Let's go. I'm hyped. R RP to M. What the fuck is M? Oh, due to COVID. Yeah, dates may change and stuff. Absolutely. It makes sense. I can't believe COVID showed up in a Nintendo Direct. If you guys need need uh, to hear it better, let me know, by the way. Smash. Oh, it's... Oh, oh Xenoblade 2. I think Rex is joining. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, is it a new... Is it new Xenoblade game? No, they because they said this is an actual footage. Oh, it's very quiet. You couldn't find Pyra. It's because... She she vanished because she went to smash! Come on. Yup. Come on. It's what I think it is, isn't it? Final Destination! Invitation to join Snap. Yo, let's go! Pyra, let's go! Yo! Yo, let's go! Yo! Absolutely playing this character. That's genius. You pretty much own in them, and these are seasoned fighters. There are no pushovers. Yo, this like cutscene shit is dynamic. I love it. Talk about a tight spot. What? <gasps> Mithra! Yo, let's go. Let's go! Yeah! Is it both though? Oh, she's like totally different! Oh my god! Oh, they're so sick! Yeah, you like swap between them. Yo! Gramps is the stage! Yo! Oh. Oh! Let's go! Wow. 
What? What? I never expected to see you two again. Oh, that's cute. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Yo, that was a cool shot. Let's go. That's cool. Rated T for teen. Thanks for letting us know. Yo, that's tight. I'm glad. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. It's been a while. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Wow, they're actually like talking about it. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. You're welcome. I guess. I don't okay. Know. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. When are they coming? This releases in March, so we March. hope you'll stay tuned Tight. just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Ah, Fall Guys. Yup. Makes sense. That's tight. I haven't played Fall Guys yet, so, you know, if I, I'm gonna probably try it out on Switch and see how it goes. Yo, they got the little... Oh my god. So I heard that greatness when Fall oh. Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Hell yeah. Uh I'm wondering though, I've heard Fall Guys doesn't run well on PS4. So I'm minutes. wondering how it'll run on Switch. Destroyed. Venture into the vast oh, outer wilds to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. I hate when that happens. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gather. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a one of the like a rogue light. Is that the Within term? These cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed cool. Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. And that's not Outer Worlds. That's that's the different game, Put right? your sleuthing skills to the <gasps> test in two classic murder mystery games. Yo! Famicom Detective Club! Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. That's awesome! You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Yo! And this is a Nintendo the franchise. Only case to crack. The other game, you'll investigate it's a supernatural Ayumi. rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? I'm just glad these have like animations and stuff like that. Like it looks good. And I'm, it's interesting they kept the name Famicom Detective Club. Cover the deadly truth. Yo, in Famicom May? Club, the missing heir, and Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. 
coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Let's go! Begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'm absolutely pre-ordering. A new age of battles begins. Hmm? Oh, is this, uh, like Romance of the Thirteen Kingdoms or something? Wait, it's not Fire Emblem, is it? Oh no, it's uh, okay, so wait, Nobunaga. No, it's not, yeah, it's. Is it a Warriors game? Samurai Warriors 5? Wow, didn't think that would come back. Oh wait, is this already announced? I think this is new, right? I haven't heard anything the about it. Entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period. <laughs> the series ah! really shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Oh, Unleash it's new. High octane moves in electrifying I love the art style. Battles. Yo! Samurai Warriors 5. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Yo, that art style is fucking awesome. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Fadiel? After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD oh, is coming to Nintendo Switch. The GBA game! You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical wait. mana tree seen in a dream. Oh wait, is it a PS1 Before game? I don't remember. Is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Nice. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Good on Square for all these ports, by the way. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the I appreciate soundtrack. that they let you Other switch the soundtrack. Added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Ring Ring Land? It's cute. Legend of Mana will launch on cool. Nintendo Switch that's awesome. June 24th. Oh, by the way, that's a PS1 game, because that was a Pocket Station game for sure. Ooh, what is... Monster Hunter? Yep. Monster Hunter. Oh. Oh, big ass spider? Let's go. Yeah, so, uh, I can already tell Ash Paulson is not buying this game. Basarios. Yo, Monster Hunter always looks tight as fuck, but, like, I don't know, I played World and I wasn't super into it, and so I I hear that Rise fixes a few of the problems that World had, but like, I don't know, I, I, I just didn't jive with the gameplay flows, but, but Monster Hunter is just, it looks so cool to watch. Like, I'm 100% into, like, watching Monster Hunter gameplay. What? Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Man, that lip sync is. Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnamalo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to fight. <laughs> the animations and the voice acting do not match in the slightest. It's so funny. I love it. It's charming. Pyramithra. See, that's the thing. I don't like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but I love the characters in it. So Pyra and Mithra is an interesting choice to me personally. So I'm 100% going to play it. Plus, I love my girls Pyra and Mithra. Best girls. The Rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? The Rampage. <gasps> Rampage coming to Switch? <laughs> We should start preparations right away. 
Calamity. Are they are they in Age of Calamity? Are they are they gonna be DLC or <laughs> That controller looks kinda tight though. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March twenty sixth. Next, please take a look at this. Oh no. <gasps> it's happening! The fairway is open once again. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Yo! Series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Super Rush! Let's go! Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Yo, this looks tight! Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled what? with lush, natural scenery. Yo, they all got outfits! Use features on the greens. Like Waluigi look at slick, shot, my boy! Due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. Let's go! Features can help you ace your shots. Ace is. Aces. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls. By holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. I, I want to see the speed then runs with motion controls. To have your oh. <laughs> swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. <gasps> what? On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario. What? Games, including this one, speed golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time. The, <laughs> this is cool. Reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. Then keep going. Oh my God! These I'll outfits. My boy DK. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? Uh. A new character. Mm, You'll start out know. as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Okay. Then, allocate points to different stats, allowing I'm, you to develop I'm hoping this is better than Aces. Like. You can also use Whoa! Me Wario! Look, he's got the 10-gallon hat! Let's go! <laughs> Wario looking clean! Switch, June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop. The 25th. All right, that's tight. I'm ready. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. We're not even half done. Please look forward to this game on oh, Nintendo Switch. This looks so cool. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Headlines. Okay, let's... Fire! Oh, he tricked us. Games coming to Nintendo Switch. What games? Come on, let's go. Hit me. Return to the ah, this was leaked because uh, it was rated in Taiwan, I think. Plays the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as he set out to recover a mountain of cash. This is tight. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and but wait, what about the original the games? Of None of those are on Switch. Narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch, March 24th. 32 of ah, Capcom's most see, I predicted this and it's shadow dropping. I was 100% right. Adjust game speed or difficulty and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also what is this available. Music? Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches Yo. today. Strider, let's go. Brains. As a zombie. Stubs the zombie. This was leaked too. Let's go. From Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This looks. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. Eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. This Theaters looks. Begin today on dumb. Nintendo eShop. 
I'm so I'm into this. This looks awful. <laughs> I'm ready. It's yeah. Oh, he's so angry. Look at him. Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, <laughs> you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. I still need to play through one and two again. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter what? each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town. Oh, and God damn it. Pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. What? Study their tactics what? carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. Oh, so each one is like a different a new genre? Death glove. You'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. Oh, that's cool. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know. Oh, Nintendo in August. August. Let's go. Yeah, these all look cool. Exterminate demons in he heaven. What? As above, neon so white. Low. Why do they need assassins in heaven? Is that Spike <laughs> Spiegel? Dirty work. Huh, interesting. So it's like a card game FPS? Interesting. This looks like really cool, but like, I... I don't know if I could handle this. Like, I'm bad at FPS games, so... It looks tight, though. Nothing to do with it. That looks tight. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries. Ah, see? Neon White. Winter 2021? Switch, winter Told you it wouldn't only be first half stuff. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and bat hooks. Why is this Supergirl? Why, She's super why is the footage like all zoomed in? Plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Oh, they fixed the footage. Okay. Bumblebee and Zatanna, we fight evil super villains to keep our so, city safe. I always love the art style for th uh, this series, but in 3D and with these animations, it looks it looks kind of weird. Looks a little jank. Not gonna lie. This does look cute, though. Sweet justice later. Uh oh, justice. something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power. This looks Heroic cute. I'll, I'll say that. It looks cute. June 4th. Am I picking it up? Absolutely not. <laughs> but it looks cute, and I think that's important. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Oh, is this uh, Plants vs. Zombies? Yep. There you go. This is a uh, battle for Neighborhoodville or whatever it was called, right? Yeah, Neighborville. March 19th. Cool. Apparently, uh, support for this game died off really quickly. So, I don't know, oh, uh, that's, uh, that's licensed music, so I'm just gonna, just in case, I'm gonna wait till this trailer is up, if that's alright, but, uh, I, I heard support for the game died rather quickly, so I'm not 100% sure on how the Switch port will, like, do in general, but, you know, look, I, I hear the, uh, the shooter zombie game, Plants vs. Zombies games are fun, so, you know. I hope people enjoy it, you know, even if it's not my thing. 
I hear Garden Warfare 2 was like like a highlight for people on uh, on last gen. All right, and then yeah, yeah pre-order now. Perfect. Who will join you in your what? adventure? Wait, Metopia? Band together on Metopia's back? Save faces. What? Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Stan! Oh no! Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your mees and get them ready for adventure. Hell yeah. Oh my god. A new wig feature. Let this is... go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. This is cute. Oh my god! What was that one on the, the end? World of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. Let's go. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship sour though, things might take a turn for the worse. I hear this game is like a little jank with like the random element. Whoa. You can have a horse as an ally? That Yo. pretty barn good. Pretty Get barn good. It, it'll lend a hand or poop in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch. That looks cute. 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. They wanted like a quick game to just like <laughs> just put <laughs> shit it out. Super Mario hey. are coming to your island. Yeah, hell yeah. Mario Brothers 35th anniversary oh, themed item Luigi to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Oh, I see Wario. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. So place them <laughs> however this and is wherever so cute. you'd like. <laughs> Evil. You can Look at Wario. Warp pipes. Wah. Oh, where are you going? Then use them to travel between locations on your island. That's so cute. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh my God, this looks so Free cute. Update for the game launches February 25th. That's adorable. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. That's awesome. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing <laughs> Twitter account for the latest information. I haven't played New Horizons in a while, but like it's always just adorable as fuck. I love it. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Don't tell me what to do. How was that? We're half done. These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. Oh. <gasps> wait. Is this Ace Attorney? No, wait. Oh, no, it's, uh... Is this from the Bravely team? Because that art style looks familiar. Or is it something new entirely? HD 2D series? Oh, it's like Octopath 2, basically. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. Yo, let's go. Yeah, this is like Octopath 2, then. others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. Triangle strategy? You got to change far that name. Away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. 
The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited L Limited deposits of salt. That is salt not the iron Smash war. community. <laughs> when the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce. Decades salt later, iron the war. The of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plot. This looks awesome. I love the art style for Octopath. I didn't buy Octopath because, like, I, I don't know. I I heard the final moments are, like, really bad. <laughs> but, uh, but this looks so cool. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain... Oh my god, upper. you burned a house down! An enemy outflanked is susceptible not oh, only to... Oh, it doesn't help that Neosi is in Octopath. Yeah, no reason to play it now. Positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the air. Oh, with that's cool. Having like terrain magic yeah, in uh, in an RPG is awesome. The battlefield before taking action. I'm like a hundred percent on this. Let's go. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Could you imagine if this was Shadow Drop today? By the way, Octopath Utility, Two is out. Morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. I was iffy about Octopath, Once but this more, looks cool. I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estros? Critical decisions oh. may determine. Oh yeah, I can't play this. Are settled by vote the on the scales of conviction. The second you start Prince throwing in this branching path shit, I'm immediately like I'm immediately scared I'm gonna pick the, the bad path and ruin the whole experience for myself. How the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Will I, though? Project Triangle Strategy. <laughs> Please, brand new Triangle Strategy is worse than... ...will launch in 2022. Please see? Be on the lookout for more information We're not even in, in 2021. We're in fucking 2022. A demo version of this game Yo, let's go. On Nintendo e and in the future, we'll conduct a survey to I'm glad when Square feedback. does this shit. We I love surveys. Do more surveys. Surveys are good. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. I see Star Wars in there. I go a stormtrooper, yeah. Oh, is that a Gatling gun? Is this new? I, I remember someone saying Republic Commando was like a multiplayer game, right? Oh, Hunters. Oh, oh, by Zynga? Star Wars Hunters is a oh. competitive free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person uh, shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't... Right, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Blizzard? Do I look at you or the camera? Wait. Not city interviews. Take wait, wait. What? We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some this? for a hero. My line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hand. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. 
Oh! You can't see that! Kung Fu City? It's is this like dodgeball? But it's a battle royale? Let's find out what sound your face makes. <laughs> Be the ball. <gasps> You're the ball. Oh no! This looks neat. I'll be real. This looks kind of neat. Knockout City coming in May. All right, looks looks all right. I I might try it if it's like free, maybe. The fight for survival starts Wait now. Wait a minute. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. What is the this? Of the Dongan Rampa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Sorry to scare you all, but... the game is cancelled! <laughs> you escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, Wait. you alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. Interesting. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch, huh. May 28th. I think I remember hearing about this. It looks, it looks cute. Wield the powers of Olympus hey. with the physical oh, release nice. of Hades. Hades is a great game, by the way. I put like 80 hours into it. Game of the Year awards is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. Nice. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And nice. let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March Oh, 19th. nice, in March. That's cool. Three deadly action games, Yo! One I said Ninja Gaiden action. would show up. And hey, there we go. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. The Ninja Master Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills. Yo, this looks cool. Along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Oh my god. You gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Oh, it's uh, the girl All from Dead or Alive. Let's go. Content, including costumes and game modes are included. <coughs> Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way yeah, into nice. the Switch Summer 2021. All right, I might check that out. I like Ninja. Uh, I want. I've always wanted to try the newer Ninja Gaidens, and that'd be the perfect chance. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Uh, possible spoilers? I guess I don't know. Like, I, I didn't play it. I didn't have interest.
Yeah, it's like new story DLC then. Yeah, the expand. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, new roster. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay. It there's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. We still got 10 minutes, by the way. Bravely Default yep. 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The final the trailer. Pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary <laughs> Hey, series I predicted it. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. The original the Dark Souls. Play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghost and Goblins nice. Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. That's cool. Looks uh, looks fun. Eight what? protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Oh, Saga Frontier. Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists. All right. Each with their own story. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Yo, tight. Looks cool. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This yep. free-to-play battle royale features we know about a that. growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, yeah, for the first two weeks after I launch, I play this double game, XP so when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, Does anyone and glory in my chat play this? I don't know. I, I don't really play this game. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. A little Next, bit. Please take a look at this. Every time he says, "Take a look." At th hey. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Nice haircut. I'm sure dude. a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild game. It is not happening. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Yep, figured. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Hmm. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Probably means it's not releasing this year, or it's While late. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Uh, is it a collection? Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, it's Skyward Sword HD! Yo, I don't even like Skyward Sword up hype. Skyward Sword is tight. Oh, they didn't fix Link's face. How'd they make it work, though, I wonder? Wow. This animation is, like, smooth and buttery. Let's go. Cool. Let's go. Let's hype. How's it work? What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Please give me a stick option. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. Oh no. The they Joy-Con controller in your left they hand didn't is add the shield. It, did they? By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. 
They didn't add an option, did they? You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. And they also don't work for but people. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo yes! system. Yes! Let's After go! over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Yes! I told you fuckers! Everyone who said I'm crazy! Let's go! Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Swing to the right. Yes. To the left. Yes. Or diagonally. This is exactly it. The stick in the respective direction. I can finally play the game. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Ooh. Joy Con controllers. The right Joy Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend yes. of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. Hell yeah. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend yes. of Zelda. Yes! This is, that's exactly what I wanted. The Legend of Zelda July, Skyward Sword baby. launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Hell yeah. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran. Even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. So wait, what are they ending on if Zelda isn't the final thing? Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. What is it? Please take a look at this. Like, uh, a new Splatoon! A new Splatoon game? Oh my god, and it, it, it's not, it's just gender fluid. You don't, oh my god, is that a fucking crossbow? Oh, uh -huh. you get to cuss with your little buddy. Oh my god. Is this like... <gasps> this, this is the Eiffel Tower. What the fuck happened? What is this? This is like Splatoon 3? Or like a spin-off? What is this? Isn't that the train from Octave Expansion? <laughs> this, is, this is phenomenal, I love this. What's that in the background? It's like a city or something? What is that? It's a new Splatoon game, right? There's no way this is just like a DLC or something, right? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yeah! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Splatoon 3? Oh, what? 
Are you kidding me? Are there air battles? Oh, you get to drop! Yo, what the fuck is this music? It's the Splatoon theme! But it's like hard as fuck! Let's go! Oh my god! Yo! They're like... Back into the ink. Yo, next year. That's so cool. Let's go. What, what was that dripping what at the end? just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. Yo. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. <laughs> we hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Yo, let's go! Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A sample. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yo, that was tight!